have to speak the truth. You have to speak your mind. They own you as an individual because they own what you wrote down, they wrote own your ideas, they own everything that you create because you signed a contract. Under regular terms of contract, in every aspect of business in this country, you are only entitled to be under contract for seven years. And there's only one art form where you cannot let the music art form. There you can extend the contract up to 20 years. Unless you take economic control, and I mean economic control as in realizing that making music and dancing and singing it is not the way and the only aspect of making money in hip hop. You make more money behind the scenes. You make more money through publishing. You make more money with producing. Because everybody always says to us, look what you black and brown people have gotten from hip hop. Oh, and I always turn the finger and I say, well, wait a minute, look what you got That's from right. hip hop. So what the mainstream America got from hip hop. So because we don't make none of the microphones that we record on. This microphone wasn't made by no black person or by no Latino person or person who originated it. Now that it's none of the film equipment we use, now that it's none of the recording studio, none of the oral X pads, none of the, 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 the places that uh, own publishing houses, none of the distributors, none of the manufacturers, none of the, the, the places that do PR for the firms we have, none of the magazine publishing, he right. ain't owned by black people. That's so right. I think that they want to talk about the slavery in the context of what you mean, young brother, it's a question of controlling what we do and of supporting those people that you see that exemplify that for you. If you see somebody that is not owned, I'm not owned by a corporate entity, I don't have that, and when I do my business with my individual distributor, I give them the records to sell, so I have the, 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 the records there to know exactly how many I've sold. Nobody else that I know personally does that, but there are a few people that I've heard of within the industry that do do that. Now, the very simple point that I'll bring down and then I'll let it go is that um, the average record label charges $1.50 per CD that it presses up and bills the artist for. I go to a place that gives me, and I would buy both like 500,000 CDs, I'll buy maybe uh, 10,000 CDs, and I can get a price of almost 75 cents. So if I'm paying 75 cents less, and you are supposedly being charged $1.50, and you're getting 500,000 CDs pressed up, they obviously getting you for at least 75 cents. Now, 75 cents don't mean like much, but if you press it up a million units at $750,000, it just rate from you just by pressing up your record. <laughs> basic facts, basic economics. We need to take it back to simple math. And that's how we need to call them. Not by having schools where we teach children how to sing or where we teach children science and math, because that is our liberation. We brought that to the world, and therefore we must seek our own freedom in that world. Every time I speak my mind, I'm lyrically critical The pinnacle of being revolutionarily pivotal Beyond anything ever studied that's metaphysical Man, fuck a minority, I'm not politically minimal But obviously terminologies that are statistical Are manufactured to be unequivocally subliminal Transmitted by monopolized media visuals So I riddle hypocritically pitiful criminals